What is the largest known star? Everyone thought it was UI Scotty, then it was Stevenson to 18. So why do astronomers keep changing their minds? Why is Stevenson 218 impossible? Stevenson 218 shouldn't even exist. Currently, the internet claims that the star is 2,100 times wider than our sun. To understand why it's not true and why the leaderboard is changing, we first need to learn the Hayashi limit. This is where the fun begins. Think of it as the speed limit on how a large red supergiant star can get while still holding itself together. A star survives by balancing two forces, gravity pulling inward and internal pressure pushing outward. When a massive star runs out of core fuel and swells into a red supergiant, that balance becomes fragile. It can expand, but only to a point. Models of stellar evolution show that the red supergiants of realistic masses top out at roughly one and a half thousand solar radii, with only limited model-dependent room to exceed that. Push a star much larger than that, and it becomes too cool and diffuse. The outer layers stop being held in place, and the star violently sheds mass until it returns to stability. This is where the trouble begins. Stevenson 218 is often quoted as 2150 times the sun's radius, but that number only holds if its distance is what earlier studies assumed. And that radius is placed well beyond the size predicted by red supergiant models. So we face a classic astrophysics situation. Either this star breaks stellar theory, or the distance estimate is wrong. In astronomy, when a result contradicts basic physics, the problem is almost always the distance. So if Stevenson 218 is really as big as they say, is breaking the fundamental laws of physics. That we know of. It is essentially illegal for a star to be that huge and still survive. So if physics says it's impossible, why does everyone else think it's real? How did astronomers get the math wrong? So how did astronomers accidentally create a fake monster star? This is getting out of hand. It comes down to the most difficult problem in astronomy, distance. If you misjudge how far a bright object is, you misjudge its true luminosity and therefore its size. Stevenson 218 was originally assumed to be a member of the Stevenson 2 cluster, about 20,000 light years away. If that distance were correct, its brightness implies the enormous, over 2100 solar radius figure. Unbelievable. But newer data, especially from Gaia Space Telescope, cast serious doubts on the cluster membership. The astrometry doesn't cleanly match the cluster's distance. That means the star may be closer to us than the cluster, not inside it. If it's closer, the true luminosity drops and the giant size evaporates. <laughs> Just like that. What looked like a record breaker becomes a normal but still large red supergiant star. So it's an illusion created by an incorrect distance assumption. Once we account for that uncertainty, Stevenson 218 cannot be treated as a reliable size champion. So if the old king is dead, who is the new king? I have a bad feeling about this. What is the real largest star in the universe? If we remove Stevenson 218 from the throne, the crown goes to a star that fits both observations and stellar evolutionary models. A surprise, to be sure, but a welcome one. Meet the significantly accurate largest star of the universe, Red Supergiant Cluster 1, F01, hidden deep in the dusty Scutum Crux arm of the Milky Way galaxy, this red supergiant is the true monster. Its radius is estimated at 1530 times the sun's, large enough that if it replaced our sun, its photosphere would reach well past Jupiter and approach Saturn's orbit. A commercial airplane circling the sun would take about 7 months. Circling F01 would take close to 900 years. F01 fits comfortably within theoretical limits. It's enormous, massive, but stable. And unlike Stevenson 218, with its radius of 2150 times the sun's, it obeys the laws of physics. So for now, it is the largest well-supported red supergiant star that we know of. 
Why is measuring stars so hard? Why do the numbers for the largest star keep changing every few years? Why can't we just measure them? There are two reasons, and the second one is terrifying. Even with Gaia telescope, James Webb Space Telescope and current modeling, measuring red supergiants is an obstacle course. First, dust. These stars live in the dense galactic plane buried behind thick clouds of gas and dust. We often have to observe them in infrared light just to see them at all, and the dust corrections introduce uncertainties. But the real problem is that red supergiants don't actually have a sharp surface. The outer layers are extremely diffuse, a gradual fade from hot gas into a vacuum. The photosphere is a moving target, pulsing in and out over time. If you flew a spaceship into the largest star, you wouldn't hit a wall of fire. You would just gradually find yourself in a hotter and hotter haze. There are essentially hot fog. Trying to measure the exact inch-perfect size of a red supergiant is like trying to measure the size of a cloud of smoke with a laser ruler. It will always be an estimate. This is impossible! Astronomers have to guess where the star technically ends based on the light transparency. Add all of this together, and every radius measurement carries significant uncertainty. Is there anything larger? In today's universe, Red Supergiant Cluster 1, F01, is the reigning giant among observationally supported Red Supergiant stars, unlike Stevenson 218. But the early universe may have hosted theoretical monsters called quasi-stars. There's always a bigger fish. You may check them later on our channel. In the early universe, matter was so dense that some protostars might have formed with a black hole at their center instead of a fusion core. The energy from the black hole feeding would act like a pump, inflating the star's gas layers to unimaginable sizes, possibly up to 7000 solar radii. That is an object so large, it would swallow our entire solar system past Pluto and the Kuiper Belt. No such objects exist today, and none have ever been observed. They require early universe conditions that no longer occur. What we can say confidently is this. Astronomy evolves. Stevenson 218 lost its crown. We used to think Earth was the center of the universe. We used to think Stevenson 218 was the limit. But now it is too uncertain to keep it. So the most realistic holder of the title largest known star is Red Supergiant Cluster 1 F01, until better data overturns the leaderboard again. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and share your thoughts down below.